Don't do what I just did. Oh, uh oh. <laughs> Synchronized flipping. Oh, we just creamed that car. And then we're going to have a big. Oh, that car might land on me. Oh, it came so close. Go off the side here. <laughs> uh, we're going to blow some tires here. Oh, yep, there we go. Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys a first look at Baja Edge of Control HD. I first off want to thank THQ Nordic for providing me a key for this game. And I tell you what, I'm really excited today. Uh, this was a game that I played back in 2008 on the Xbox 360. I put many hours into this game. It's an off-road racer. Uh, I wouldn't say it's like a sim racer, but it's a really, really awesome uh, off-road racer where you would race the Baja 1000. There's a lot of big trucks in here, a lot of 4x4s, a uh, bunch of classes, a bunch of different styles of race. I mean, this was just one of the ultimate off-road racers back then. So I was really happy to see them remaster this and put it in HD, put it on the PC, the Xbox One, and the PS4. So we're going to try this out here today, just do a little video on that. Uh, let me know what you think down in the comments below about this game, if you'd like to see more types of games like this on the channel. But yeah, uh, we're going to go ahead and check this thing out. Uh, we're probably just going to go to a normal race here, try to get a feel for this thing again. Now, as far as I know, it's not really a simulation, but it's not an arcade racer. It's somewhere in that Simcade area. Uh, I definitely love the feel of it. If I remember right, the cars were really heavy, real fun to sling around, so looking forward to that. Looks like we got several different types of races. Circuit race, rally race, hill climb, open class, Baja, and free ride. Baja, if I'm not mistaken, has like these really huge... It's like a rally race, but it'll span several of the maps. And I think some of them take upwards of like 30 plus minutes. They're really, really big races. Uh, we're going to try something really close today. Let's go to circuit racing. We need to be close, beat and banging. Uh, let's see, where do we want to go? Looks like we still got quite a few tracks here. I think some of these are actually locked. Let's just go to the salt flats here. Oh, that looks nice. Uh, what I do like about some of these circuit courses, they have actual alternate routes or they'll have multiple paths that you can take on the course like this uh, bloody basin course here. So let's go ahead and go to that. So the game itself has 160 vehicles amongst eight classes. We got stuff from Baja bugs. These are these little low powered little kind of VW looking bugs. Uh, the unlimited VWs here, I think this is a pretty tight little class, a 4x4 class, so you're going to see like Jeeps and stuff like that. Open wheel or uh, low powered buggies if I'm not mistaken. Uh, you've got the mini trucks, something, I would say close to like a stadium truck here. Uh, full size trucks, these are actually kind of cool looking. Uh, you've got the class 1 unlimited, which are big buggies. And then you got the big boys, you got the big trophy trucks here, so we're probably going to start off with the big stuff here. So, let's go ahead and jump into this. What's the bonus class? Oh, <laughs> forgot about those. Uh, that's actually kind of neat looking. I uh, got like the little mini racers, little Long Beach racers. Uh, that's actually really neat looking. Uh, we're just going to go to the trophy trucks here. Now, there is some real racers in here. Uh, you've got Jesse James for West Coast Choppers. Robbie Gordon's in here. His uh, paint scheme's a little outdated. This looks like the old monster paint scheme he used to run. I think he's got his own little energy company now. Uh, you've got quite a few real names in here, but we've only got two we can pick from. You've got the Jesse James, a little... I don't even know if that's a truck. That I guess that's a truck. It kind of is ugly to me. And you got one that looks like an actual truck. We're going to go ahead and pick this one here. All right, so let's set this up. Let's go with simulation physics. Uh, let's kick it down to... Let's just do two laps here. We need to keep this fast. That way we can play with a couple other game modes. And let's go ahead and kick that AI up just a little bit. Let's go to 96%. And let's see what this gives us here. All right, here we go. Ready to race. As you see, visually, it's nice. It's not something where it's eye-popping and it's amazing looking, but you do have to keep in mind, 2008 game, this is all really going to be about the fun factor. And I must say, this thing runs really smooth. <laughs> oh, oh boy, I got to remember how these things handle. Yeah, this is really neat looking. You can actually see the suspension working. This is something I obsess about in games like Scrap Mechanic. And oh, no! <laughs> Oh, I kind of shorted that jump. Oh, I just landed on somebody. Oops. Oh, well, we're good. Oh, there's actually a lot more smoke than I remember. I think it's one of the things they uh, kind of tuned up in the game. It's a lot dustier looking. It's harder to see. All right, let's try to keep some momentum up here. Uh, damage model-wise, this is actually a fairly neat. Uh, parts will peel off. You'll lose wheels. They have, like, these little service areas on the side of the track that you'll have to go to uh, to stop and try to change tires. So... Do we have some damage? Oh, we might receive some here. Oh, boy. 
Oh, this hasn't started well for us. Got to kind of pick up the pace here and get in a groove. Swing up the inside. I'm waiting for the uh, the racetrack to actually break off into the multiple paths. But yeah, this, uh, the game, the way it feels, there's a lot of the weight to the cars, so it doesn't feel really floaty like a lot of games do, and it's really annoying. Oh! <laughs> we just pulled it. Oh, boy. And we are in last place now. Oh, that is actually embarrassing. Talk about how well the game handles, and I just pull it. I mean, that really wasn't 100% my fault, but... Oh, well, we got a challenge here. Got to try to make up as many spots as we can. As you can see, the paths have broken up cars are in three different lanes right here so hopefully we pick the fast lane get through here nice and smooth which look at that time we are making up there we go but yeah the, the handling feels very nice on this game it's it kind of got a lot of weight you can see the cars wanting to step out but it's all shifted over uh, very neat looking so let's go ahead and make up some positions hey we're back already up to sixth right now uh oh <laughs> uh oh oh <laughs> we just killed a we killed a cactus all right we're good we are good. All right, feeling good about this. One to go here. Try the inside. You don't want to bog down the car too much because it takes a lot to get the momentum up. You'll see I lose a lot of time there trying to take the inside. Hey, it's almost like a dirt bike game. You want to stay on the banks and try to keep the car wound up. So don't do what I just did. Oh, uh-oh. <laughs> Seeker nice flipping. Oh, we just creamed that car. All right, we are good. All right, let's go ahead. Try to get that momentum up. We're going to swing to the outside here. Just try to... Try to keep as wide as possible in the turns to keep that speed up. There we go. Up to fifth place. Uh, that wreck back there actually helped us quite a bit. Let's throw it in. Might make a little bit of contact there with the buggy on the outside. We're good. Oh, he's coming back. Oh, yeah, it's pretty aggressive here. There we go. Oh, that's where I died. Uh, I think that's where I died last time. There we go. Okay, so we're going to speed up the hill. We're actually going to be challenging for the lead. We might have to turn the AI up a little bit. Right, we're probably going to try a hill climb race here in a second. Uh, I want to try to get this one through here. It'd be nice to pick up a win. Uh, it proves that we might need to turn the AI up, but... Oh! What the heck? All right. That was a really aggressive move, move there. It's actually quite nice to see that you get a lot of AI in games now that aren't quite aggressive enough. They like to back off. Uh, so it's nice to see them uh, not afraid to get up and close and get in your door a little bit. Here we go. Yeah, I don't know if they've changed anything AI-wise. Uh, that's probably still the same. If I remember, I had just as much fun racing this back then. And, oh, we got door slam there. Oh, okay. We just lost the roof panel. I've got a buggy that's on my tire. Buddy, you're going to have to kind of get off there. It's a little close. There we go. <laughs> Let's try to get over here. Uh, you know, we were going to finish well. Actually, you know what? We're going to pick up fourth. We might pick up third at the line. Oh, we did. That didn't look like we won. Or it actually didn't look like we picked up third there, but apparently did. That was actually really close. Look at the times there. Yeah, that was, re that was really close. That was under a tenth. Okay. All right. Well, let's go ahead and go back out to the main menu here and try something else. I, that, I'm like almost like jittery. I've got a big smile on my face. I love playing stuff like that. That felt quite good getting back into. So uh, let's go ahead and try something else here. All right, so we're going to try something else here. I think we're going to go to Hill Climb. Now, I would do a rally race, but those are just kind of by yourself uh, against the time. I do think there was other AI cars on the track at the time. Uh, it's just like cars in different classes. But I want to keep it close here. So let's go to the Hill Climb mode and try this out. Uh, hill climb, these are extremely fun. These are challenging. Uh, this is a lot about managing the vehicle. Uh, as you can see, the courses here are quite extreme. Oh, that's actually, that's a nice looking hill. Uh, that looks dangerous. Tons of cliffs. Mm, I'm going to be picky here. Actually, I want to go to this one here because some of those cliffs look absolutely insane. So uh, we're going to go ahead and go to something else. Let's go to class one unlimited. Uh, these are going to be buggies. Oh, that actually looks really sweet. Uh, what else do we got here? You only have a couple vehicles unlocked at first. I want to say you have to unlock the other ones during the career mode, if I'm not mistaken. Which you do start off in the lower divisions. And you got to work your way up, doing all the different disciplines. Uh, let's put them up to let's put them up to 98. I feel like I can handle that. And as I say that, we're probably going to absolutely fail here, but we'll see what happens. All right, here we go. We are ready to race. Now this is only two laps. I think it's actually limited to two laps. Which, uh oh. Are we going against... Is this like multiple classes here? I'm seeing big trophy trucks. Oh, boy. 
Oh, this car does not have any grip. It feels like I'm just spinning the tires the whole way up. Come on. I'm trying to get the power down. I haven't even gotten out of first gear here. And oh, you can see the side of the cliffs here. Uh, one of the neat things about the uh, hill climb is the whole fact that there's multiple halves up the hill. So you're going to see all the different race cars uh, take all the different routes up. And oh, there we go. Oh, the hill keeps getting taller. All right, you got to watch on some of these jumps, though, how you land. You don't want to pop tires by landing too hard. So let's keep going up here. There we go. And then we're going to have a big... Oh, that car might land on me. Oh, it came so close. All right, here comes the drop-off. You want to kind of take this slow because if you launch off this cliff, you are definitely going to damage your vehicle. So got to be careful here. We're setting in second place. First is right in front of us. And we might be able to shortcut them here. Oh, Ooh, you see the little damage meter on the side. It looks like I damaged some of the shocks. Uh, this is all about endurance when it comes to these uh, hill climb events. So, gonna have to be careful when we go back up the hill. But we are trailing first, not by too much here. Uh, we've actually really gapped third place, so it's gonna be a battle between me and this guy up here. Uh, Braked way too late there. Let's see if we can still make it up the hill. Try not to flip over backwards. Nice. Uh, ideally, I want to break off and not choose the same path as him that way I don't have him right in front of me and oh, we're just absolutely spinning the tires the, the vehicle does not want to get up that first part uh, once we get over here we should be fine if you look at the mini map in the bottom left you can see the uh, leaders taking the right path uh, it seems like we are actually good to go here try to keep it clean oh I got a little too much air there okay gonna launch over this side try to just ease it over I'm trying not to damage the shocks Oh, he's hit a cactus, too. Uh, this is going to be really close. He's got some good speed. Oh, I think he's going to exit before us. Oh, there he is. There's the leader. Oh, we're smoking. Uh-oh. All right. We're going to have to try to get down as fast as possible. Try not to crash the vehicle. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh. Oh, we just blew a tire. Oh, that's not good. Okay, you can see our... Oh, we blew two tires. I don't have time to stop. We, we can't repair this, so we've just got to hold it wide open and hope we can get down the hill fast. Oh, he is definitely... He's catching. He's catching fast. Uh, I kind of wish I could block him. <laughs> kind of go wide. Oh, we're going to lose the race because of our blown tires. Uh, wow, we are really, are really in front of uh, their place there. Uh, so we're going to be able to bring it home. Uh, second, and it's going to blow up. No, it didn't blow up. That was fun. That was a lot of fun. Uh, so yeah, oh wow, we were ahead by almost eight seconds. Actually, a little over eight seconds. That's actually kind of amazing. It's amazing in two laps that you get that spread out, but those are really fun events too, so definitely gonna have to do some more of those. All right, so next, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the ball hop mode. Just give you guys a feel for it. It plays a little intro movie here. Look at the estimated times to these things. I said 30 minutes, I might have been wrong. An hour, 1.5 hours, 3 hours. Yeah, these things are serious. You're going to need to sit down for a big time game session if you want to play these. And what it does, it takes the longest routes on a lot of these maps that you see. And you can see there's three different environments there. So there is loading times in between uh, the routes, but it's still one big race. So say if we were to go, let's just go over here. Uh, what do we want to try? We're just going to start the race. We're not going to finish this. It's going to take way too long. Uh, let's go to the full-size trucks over here. Try these out. Uh, these are more... They look like stock trucks. They don't look quite like the trophy trucks. Uh, let's try this. This is actually kind of sweet looking. Uh, let's put them on. I don't know if it really makes a difference here. I don't think we're really going to see anybody on the course. Not unless they're in a different class or maybe we're passing by a crash vehicle. Uh, but we'll have to see here. But we'll start this Baja out. All right, here we are. We are lined up, ready to go. You can see they're slowly pulling away. And we get our chance. Actually, we're a lot closer than I thought we would be. So, ah, that's actually kind of cool. So, yeah, you see a service helicopter that flies overhead. I believe you can call that in if you need a uh, tow back to the service stations. Uh, there is, like, little repair spots where if you need to stop off. As you can see, I have a spare tire on my back. So, if I were to blow a tire on the route here, we would stop on the side of the road and hit a... I believe you hit the H button on the uh, on the remote, or yeah, Y button. I keep saying H. I don't know. I don't play with the remote that often, uh, but yeah, I'm picking up some speed here. I don't know how it divides the classes. I didn't see. I think 
I mean, we're keeping pace here, so I want to say that's another uh, big truck in front of us, or I guess we call it like a full-size truck. Doesn't look like a trophy truck. Either that or it could be a stadium truck, too. So keep a good speed here. Uh, let's try the different views. You got the hood cam here. Oh, 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 oh. I did not turn at all. Uh, you've got this little, like, front bumper cam. It is kind of a shame that at the time they didn't have some sort of cockpit cam because I love racing from the cockpit on most of my racing games. Especially if I'm playing with the wheel, so I don't know how... I don't know how good I would be with the wheel here. I guess I could probably do it from the hood cam. That's like the next best option. Or the roof cam, the one that, where you can see the front of the hood. Uh, picking up some good speed here. So yeah, this is just definitely just a neat little mode. Go out, race the track. You will have competitors around you. Kind of have to get by them. Uh, oh, oh, oh. There's a lot of trees out here, too. So I'm going to avoid those. And oh, there goes... Well, they were just stacked up behind. Actually, that guy's making a pass on the other. So obviously, I want to say he's in a different class than us. I'm not really sure quite how they break down. I want to say the group they started us with, we might all still be the same class. Uh, so maybe I'm just kind of slow here. Uh, uh oh, there we go. So yeah, you got to get a little bit of a feel for the environments here, not just the circuits that we've been on. Uh, this is also available if you want to go free ride any of these environments. So you can go around here, kind of like the old uh, ATV versus MX games, which is the same company uh, that made this game. Uh, you can go around and just kind of drive the environments, go find some really big jumps and just drive over those. Uh, so definitely a lot of fun uh, that you can have here. But yeah, this is a fun little mode. Uh, I might come back. I'm actually going to do this in my free time. I don't want to just do this just here with you guys. I just kind of wanted to show you guys what this is all about and just how this whole system works uh, with the big Baja races. Because that's really what the game's all about. To me, the circuits and all that are are just uh, extra in the game. So anyways, we're gonna go check out one more mode here and then we will wrap this video up. All right, last mode, say if you just wanna go out with your friends, have some fun, you can go to any of the maps that are unlocked. Uh, let's say, we'll go to Nevada here and we'll pick, let's just pick a big bad vehicle. Let's use the, uh, the Jesse James vehicle. Full damage, tree collisions all, simulation handling. We'll go ahead and do it all here. And then we'll go run around, and I'll show you guys kind of how big the maps are. All right, here we are. We are in Nevada. I don't think this is the, uh, no, this is obviously not the strip. But yeah, this is the big environment. This is where they make all the circuit courses, so you'll see some of the, a lot of the pabs out here. You can go run around. Uh, this is where they also run the Baja courses through, so you'll see a lot of this throughout the game. But you can go out here, just free roam. Uh, this was always fun. Uh, me and buddies used to play split screen a lot on this. I believe we played it on this. I know on the MX games, we'd always go to like the free roam environments and go play around. So here you can get a real good feel for how the cars handle, how the tracks are. Go find ridiculous jumps. Like say if we just go off the side here, <laughs> uh, we we're going to blow some tires here. Oh, yep. There we go. Just going to go and show you guys how you repair. You just got to stop here. I think you hit the Waikiki. There we go. Uh, takes that back tire. Actually, we blew more than one tire because the back's still flat. We probably blew one of the fronts, too. Ah, boy. Uh, it's really cool, though. You can see those, uh, how the shocks, how the everything's just working. That's one of the most awesome things that I love seeing in games. Uh, as a lot of you know from Scrap Mechanic, every time I play with an off-road racer, I'm like, hey, look at this suspension. So, definitely have to take a, take a look at that suspension and how it rides over everything. But, Anyways, uh, that's about it for the Baja Edge of Control game. I just wanted to play this, kind of try something a little bit different on the channel. Uh, let me know if you guys liked games like this. We might do a bit more. Got some other racing titles that are coming out. Uh, uh, we might dive in a little bit more. Maybe we'll touch into some career mode. But this is just really something I'm uh, thankful that they are bringing this back. That way a lot of you guys can go enjoy this. So yes, this is releasing on the 14th for the PS4 Xbox One and the PC on Steam, so if you want to grab a copy. And like I said, once again, thanks to THQ for sending me a copy over. But anyways, folks, hope you enjoyed the video. If you'd like to like and subscribe, everything helps my channel. Like I said, let me know what you think of the game down below, and we will see you guys next time. Thank you.